Zach Braff has been nominated for three Golden Globes and an Emmy for his role as Dr. John Dorian on the hit sitcom Scrubs. Now, after eight years, the quirky medical show is getting a new life on ABC. <laughs> Here to talk about all the offbeat things happening at Sacred Heart Hospital is Zach Braff. Zach, welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Feels good. Feels good, right? Very nice Thank job. You. Very Thank nice you. job. I've always wanted to do that. Thank you. Well, you did it very well. In fact, a little too well, Thank you. sadly for me. So it is a little bit opposite world, though, here, right? You were on NBC for eight years. Yes. Now ABC. That happens very, very rarely. How did you all take the news? Uh, we were excited. We thought the show was over. You know, we thought we had done seven years. We thought that's a, a very nice run for a for a TV show. And, you know, we were sad, but we thought that was the end of the run. And then all of a sudden, ABC stepped forward and said, you know, we love the show. We don't want it to be over. The ratings are good. Why would you pull the plug on a, on a show people like? You fools. And now NBC's loss, ABC's gain. Interesting aspect of the show. John Dorian, obviously. J.D., you play. Very often within the episode, he has to live through a fantasy that right. goes on. But, you know, that happens for all of us. Yet You actually have to act out those fantasies. Yeah, really bizarre stuff. What, do you, what comes to mind when you think about some of the zany things you've had to do? Uh, hurting myself, because they usually involve me running into a wall or flipping over a couch. Or If you do a lot of physical comedy, you have to have a good chiropractor. So I have a lot of black and blues, um, you know, making, pretty much making a fool out of myself for the audience's amusement. But, and believe me, I enjoy doing that every day. Now, one of the interesting things tonight on the big episode, you have Courtney. Cox. Yes, Courtney Cox. She plays a doctor not too popular, right? Uh oh, the Girl Scouts are moving. I'm well, no, sorry. don't. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I always get afraid when Girl Scouts you move en masse. The children. <laughs> the Did one, I say something? The one thing this I have giant to herd do. of Girl Scouts started moving. <laughs> Don't scare the children. Before please, we went on, please. Zach was saying, where are the cookies? Well, yeah. Actually, I was saying that. That many Girl Scouts <laughs> with no cookies, it's a shame. <laughs> Let's go to a clip of the show. This okay. is Scrubs. Courtney Cox, the big guest tonight. Take a look. <laughs> Guys, listen. I popped in here earlier and noticed not Mr. Rizel, but his daughter showing signs of MS. They were lying to get her the drugs. Can you believe it? I'm angry. I want to shake these things. Hard. Anyway, I played the bad guy for you, and I tossed him out. I love playing the bad guy. I'd even wear black scrubs if they made them. <laughs> very nice. A lot of fun having Courtney Cox on She's set. She's a very nice uh, woman. Um, you know, you, you never know when someone's been so successful how they're going to be, and she couldn't have been more real and, and cool. Now, the good news, sad news for us is that you're saying this will be it for you after this year. Yes. Because you're going to move on. Explain it to all the heartbroken people why that will be so. Uh, well, you know, we thought the show was over after seven years, as I said, and we all got this, this bonus year, so we're very excited about that. But, um, you know, we don't know if ABC is going to continue airing the show or not. It, it'll all depend on, on, on this season. But I, 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 think I've, I think eight years is a great run. I'm very grateful for it. And there's so many other things I'd like to do with my career that I think it's time to, to move on. And Zach made a couple of good points when we were talking before we came on. It's hard. You've got this job constantly. If you want to do a movie, it's tough to fit it in. And then you get no time off, so there's no chance to really recharge your life batteries. Yeah, well, I, like, I love to direct movies. I'd, I'd like to direct more. I directed uh, Garden State. I'd mm -hmm. like to go out and make more films. So uh, it's, you can't really do both. It's hard to... to be the lead in a TV show and also try and direct movies. So. You think uh, you understand how hard it will be to leave yet? You have a very good friend on the show, Donald Faison. Yeah, Donald Faison. This but we hang out. I saw him last night. We're, we're, like, uh, we're, we're as close as two straight men can be. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we work like an 18-hour day and then go home and like, watch a movie together. And like, like when Harry met Sally, like talk on the phone and watch TV together. Oh, and then it creates chemistry on screen. Snuggle. Well. We snuggle. The snuggle. <laughs> I've spooned Donald Faison. I'm going to come out and say I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not. But you're okay. not. I'm, you're I mean, not. I am. No, I'm not. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a dog. That's all Anything right. can happen Everything, here. This is at GMA. Girl Scouts, dogs. It's mayhem here it's, at GMA. This is crazy. Everybody's a fan. Let's have one of the dogs wrestle one of the Girl Scouts. <laughs> we'll tape some of the cookies to her, and the dog will. Uh, all right, enough of this. Okay. Zach Brown. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Thank Good you. luck this season. Thank you.